A recent volcano birth in the Indian Ocean was so violent that it caused earthquake ripples, seismic ripples, over 10,000 miles away. This is on Daily Mail, Victoria Bell reporting. Two days ago this, this was reported, mysterious low-frequency seismic ripples, and they were felt worldwide. France's National Center for Scientific Research wanted to clarify its origin, and the unexpected seismic activity was felt 10,000 miles away, that's 17,000 kilometers. According to the French Geological and Mining Research Bureau, the team discovered a new volcano located 3,500 meters underwater. The Earth rang like a bell. It's one of the times that uh, we have witnessed the Earth ring like a bell. The latest was just a few days ago when we had the Papua New Guinea quake of 7.5 magnitude. The Earth rang like a bell again. Another time the Earth rang like a bell was a few years ago when a very low frequency earthquake took place in the Anatolia Fault in Turkey around the area of Istanbul and that quake lasted for an amazing 50 days. The earth was ringing for 50 days. There are things that geologists are still finding out concerning seismology and uh, it was at that time that only one geologist picked up that frequency and that it lasted for 50 days. And uh, the colleagues, of course, studied it and examined that it's a new type of uh, very dangerous thing that happens in strike-slip faults of subduction areas. It's something that uh, was new to them because perhaps they never realized it. It was so low and it took so long. Now, uh, this mysterious low-frequency seismic ripple these types of things are felt around the world. There are those that ask, well, if we feel these ripples and the, the uh, earth rings like a bell, does that mean that the earth is hollow to be ringing like a bell? Because when we have a bell ringing, it's usually hollow, something clanging on the outside or the inside. Unless, of course, we have something that is uh, passing the sound very quickly and loud enough for us to feel it elsewhere on the earth. It's still a mystery. Now the birth of an undersea volcano in the Indian Ocean is thought to have caused a succession of these mysterious quakes around the world throughout last year. And one of the biggest ones we felt was on 11-11, November 11th, uh, and it lasted for about uh, two minutes, the big burst of it, that is. Now, these uh, volcanoes, this volcano here specifically, was active throughout last year, causing succession of mysterious quakes. Now, short bursts of seismic activity were picked up by seismic sensors up to 10,000 miles away from the location of the submarine volcano near the French island of Mayotte. From what our friend Ben Fiorullo tells us, uh, the uh, magnitude of over 5.5 is definitely heard, heard worldwide. The monitors do pick it up if it's 5.5 magnitude. Everywhere worldwide, they will pick that up. Now, the mountain's birth triggered a series of earthquakes which were felt daily by locals on the island and further afield by experts using seismographs. The... Um, Researchers, the monitors that is, seismic monitors, the researchers at France's National Center for Scientific Research, CNRS for short, wanted to clarify the origin of the small quakes which shook the island. It's located between Africa and Madagascar. And according to the French Geological and Mining Research Bureau, the team discovered a new submarine volcano situated 31 miles or 50 kilometers away. Now, pictured, we have the sonar waves reflecting off the sea floor near the French island of Mayotte, and they reveal the outline of an 800-meter-tall volcano, which is in red, 
you see it, it seems like a profile to us and a rising gas rich plume the French Bureau claims that the birth of a submarine volcano has been observed for the first time. The Bureau said that the birth of a volcano located 3,500 meters, that's 2.1 miles underwater, has been observed for the first time. Rising from the seafloor, the peak is about 2,600 feet high, that's 800 meters, and 3 or 4 miles wide. They also claim that it has a 2.1 or 2 kilometer long plume of volcanic fluids emanating from its highest point or its crater. In previous maps, there had been nothing. This thing was built from zero in six months. We're talking about almost a kilometer high volcano built in six months, you know, you realize uh, that in six months, a kilometer, that's uh, about, what, let's say five months, that's 200 meters, that's uh, 600 feet a month. 600 feet a month, am I, am I proper in that? Maybe I'm losing weight, because it's, I haven't had my coffee and it's, uh, I haven't slept all night, <laughs> wait a minute. 800 in six months. Let's round that to 100 a month, okay? 800, 600, a month. 100 meters times three is 300 a month. That's what? 300 feet a month is 10 feet a day. It's go it was going up at 10 feet a day. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? <laughs> See, are you serious? Okay, Paul Begley would say, are you serious? What? 10 feet a day? They also claim that it has a 1.2 mile or 2 kilometer long plume of volcanic fluids emanating from its high, highest point or crater. In previous maps, there had been nothing. And this thing was built from zero in six months, said Marc Chaussidon, the director of the Institute of Geophysics in Paris the IPGP. The small population of Mayotte, 500,000 people, that's half a million people living uh, there, knew for months that something was happening. From the, I mean, that's why we felt it. We're talking about 10 feet a day? Are you kidding me? That's unbelievable. Uh, that's why we felt it worldwide. Now, from the middle of last year, they felt small earthquakes almost daily said Laurie Fallou, a socialist with European Mediterranean Seismological Center in bruyere la chatelle in France. Maillot has a seismometer, thank goodness. It has a seismometer, but triangulating the source of the rumblings would require several instruments. The nearest others are in Madagascar and in Kenya, as you can understand. Now, that's quite a long ways away. The scientific campaign started only in February when the team placed six seismometers on the ocean bottom close to the activity. Now, unexpected seismic activity was felt on the French island of Mayo, wedged between Madagascar and Africa in the Indian Ocean and picked up by seismograms 10,000 miles away since last year, 2018. The map of the seafloor made by the ship's multi-beam sonar indicates that as much as five cubic kilometers of magma erupted already onto the seafloor, so it was an undersea eruption and growing an eruption and growing and two kilometer plume and all this going on. Can you imagine? The sonar also detected plumes of bubble-rich water rising from the center flanks of the volcano. So it's also got gas emissions, deformation, eruptions, in previous maps, there had been nothing. This thing was built from zero in six months, according to Chassidon. Scientists are now processing the data they acquired in recent months and trying to assess seismic, volcanic, and tsunami. The crew also dredged up rocks from the flanks of the newborn volcano that, popped, uh, po that, that was popping as they brought them on board. Now, um, the Institute of Geophysics in Paris, IPGP, 
Natalie Foulet said, sign of high pressure gas trumped inside the black volcanic material. The study is expected to be published in the journal Nature at an unspecified date, so I guess in a couple of days or weeks we should be getting more on this. Now, of course, we know that the earthquakes are detected by a magnitude intensity of shock waves that produce known as seismic waves, and the magnitude of an earthquake differs from its intensity. The magnitude of an earthquake refers to the measurement of energy released where the earthquake originated, and the magnitude is calculated based on the measurement of the seismographs. The intensity of an earthquake refers to how long, how strong the shaking that is produced, uh, produced by the sensation is. That's the intensity. According to U.S. Geological Survey, intensity is determined from the effects on people, human structure, and the natural environment. Earthquakes originate below the surface of the Earth in a region called the hypocenter, and during an earthquake, one part of the seismograph remains stationary and one part moves with the Earth's surface. The earthquake is then measured by the difference in the positions of the still and the moving parts of the seismograph, unless they um, chill out from the very severe shaking and uh, they freeze and they don't, uh, they don't measure properly. Now, uh, we noticed that Mayotte, between Madagascar and uh, Africa, I mean, obviously, Madagascar was at one point uh, joined to Africa, and of course, having due to uh, fault zones and fractures, it was split off. But you notice that Mayotte is also at the base of, if you extend the, the um, line from the fault line to Mayotte from Africa, it's at, uh, at the end of the Great Rift Zone of Africa, which has been seeing a lot of land cracks lately, tremendous land cracks. And they say it's just a matter of time before that whole end, uh, the east end of Africa, basically giving rise to the Nile River, uh, which is running along a fault line anyway, will be cut off from Africa, which is about a third of Africa. That's just in passing. So obviously this is a very uh, volatile, very fast growing volcano. We're talking about 10 feet a day and we'll have more updates on this quite soon. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.